Lucy, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning and a very happy new year to you and to all your listeners this morning. How are you doing? I'm very, very well. How are you? Well, as you can see, I'm still <laughs> I'm fine actually. I'm, I'm really, really fine. I hope you still listen to us. Absolutely. You do? Yes. Okay. Are we doing well? You're doing a brilliant job. You're doing a brilliant job. How is Airtel generally? We are brilliant. We couldn't be happier. Mm. Um, as you know, last year we were the fastest growing telecoms company in the country. Okay. Very proud of that. And we continue our momentum mm. as more and more Ghanaians continue to choose Airtel for both voice and data services. What are you looking for? How are you seeing 2016? First as a company. It's about as a really capitalizing on what we've achieved in the last year mm. um, our brand has grown very strongly customers as I said have come to us because we've been very close to them mm -hmm. so we will continue that closeness and we want to consolidate our position around data and digital services mm. you know we've been most innovat innovative in this area yesterday for instance we heard from another organization <coughs> that named us mo most influential on social media mm. um, of all the telcos so we're very okay. excited so definitely a year of consolidation mm, interesting stuff so we know that you're the reigning CIMG market woman of the year uh, how has it been so far um, it's been um, an experience an eye-opening experience mm. um, particularly because it's given me the opportunity to engage a lot of people across the country mm. um, to learn from them and to hear them uh, out um, but as I said I think I came here a, a few days after mm -hmm. um, the award for me, the award is really about every African child. And okay. I believe that we need to be creative. We create starting with our dreams, mm. but our dreams have to translate into actions. Mm. So what we've spent most of the last few months tirelessly doing is working on a project and launching actually a project um, using the award as leverage, but actually going out there and making a difference to our young people in Ghana. I know you've been mentoring young people and that's not new but last month which is December 2015 you launched the Evolve with STEM talk to me a bit about Evolve with STEM what, what, what does STEM even mean? Okay. Mm. well I've spoken a lot about the need to realize our potential mm. I've spoken a lot about the need for our young people to be at the forefront mm. of our future our change mm. I've also spoken extensively about the fact that with technology we will be able to leapfrog some of the gaps we have. Mm. It's like two people running a race, right? One mm. guy has already started the race and he's running really fast. The other guy is starting the race and he's not as fast as, as the other guy and he wants to catch up and overtake, right? That's us and some parts of the rest of the world. What we need to is the, the um, tech, is with technology to create that acceleration for us not only to catch up in our own way but to overtake. And that's why Evolve with STEM is so important. Mm. So STEM is an acronym that's used around the world that stands for, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Okay. Right? So the whole idea is that we want to encourage young people to see technology, to see science, to see engineering as mathematics as part of their evolution into the future, into mm. becoming whoever they want to be, mm. and most importantly, reali realizing whatever dream they have. Yeah, yeah there, there are a number of reasons. You know, as we go on, on life's journey, all the mm. experiences we have actually count for something. We mm -hmm. need to pay attention to them. And for me, Mataiko is close to my heart because it's why I did my national service. Okay. So it's where I actually got the experience mm. of other children in our um, society. So I say other children because a lot of the children I was surrounded by would say things like they wanted to be an engineer, they wanted to be a doctor. When I taught at Mataheku, um, in my classroom in class six, when I did the same exercise with the children, only one of them at the time, obviously this is over 20 years mm. ago, said so. So I know that there's a gap between um, even awareness mm. um, in different parts of, of, of our country in terms of children's awareness of what is available and what is out there. I want to reach out to the children who need to hear the message the most. Mm. There's some children who are already in the catchment group and they will hear about the importance of science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Mm. I want to go to the children who wow. are less likely so, to So it's it. funny, it's almost related to what we're saying this morning. In a sense, being deprived could mean that your, your world view of what is possible is very limited. So you're, you're in a very basic school and you think all you can rise to become is this. Whereas actually, with a little education, you could be anything you wanted to be. 
one hundred percent. You've hit the nail on the mm. head. So um, the example, you know, there's a this young boy who's spoken about a lot on the on the internet, Thomas Suarez. He developed a printer. I think it's about twelve years old that was ten times faster than printers on the market. Mm. Um, he's doing many other things. My point is, we have hundreds of thousands of these young people in Ghana who have the potential, mm -hmm. just don't have the opportunity to exploit that potential to bring out all the solutions to our problems. Mm -hmm. and, and Bernard, I think it's important to emphasize that science, technology, engineering and mathematics doesn't categorically mean that your interest will lead you to become an engineer, a doctor, um, a scientist. Look at your studio this mm -hmm. morning. We're absolutely surrounded by gadgets. Mm -hmm. You may be a journalist, but you need to understand some of the, this technology yeah, yeah. around you. Mm -hmm. You are able to propagate your message. You have listeners, I know, from mm -hmm. all over the world mm -hmm. because of technology. So your message travels much f further than just you know those of us sitting around you. So technology plays a role in every aspect of business today. Mm -hmm. And we need to get our young people's minds tuned to this fact, the acceptance of it as normal as opposed to the purview of a few. So this project of yours, what would you be doing? Are you going back to your, the school you used to teach at to sort of have mentorship sessions? Are you going to carry some of your colleagues to go there? Are you going to do workshops? How is it going to work? So we've already started. Mm. Um, we, you know, I like to, to I'm action oriented. So when you yeah. say something, you've got to make it happen. We launched um, in December, as you said, not just as a launch event, but actually going to the school and having mm. the first session. The th it's a three pronged approach, mm. right? Very, very clearly. Um, first is mentoring mentoring sessions to really encourage um, um, the children I mean the first session we did it wasn't just about them meeting me and, and talking to me but really me presenting to them many of our great great leaders across Ghana mm -hmm. who have really made a difference for them to aspire to the second um, um, arm is um, science clubs now some of our schools already have science clubs um, science clubs that could do with maybe more um, equipment mm. more supervision and more in involvement so we're, we're looking at actually um, partnering to extend the science clubs mm. and the third aspect is which is for the perhaps the more um, hardcore futuristic um, young people is, is the coding mm. and this morning as I was driving here I heard you talk about the Bisa app I've just downloaded it after I heard you speak about wow. it wow right <laughs> hey. the idea is that if we can get the really smart young children coding mm. can you imagine what they can do for us wow. what they can solve for us i was so impressed with bisa this my I've, I've looked at it. we need more of such bisa please you, you owe me lunch we've gotten the md of Intel to download bisa and use because of our show serious stuff we're talking to the cimg marketing more of interesting yeah. stuff but so this is um something you're doing on your own side but how would this feed into the national because it, we, again there's the whole national effort there's the formal education system at some point just doing the little thing you're doing, other people doing the little things they do, there needs to be some coming together if we are really going to change to yes. change things. Yes, um, so you're absolutely right. When we work collectively um, as a team at whatever level, we get more done. Mm -hmm. And this project, Evolve with STEM, was launched formally at the CIMG President, President's Ball in December. Mm -hmm. And at that um, event, I actually openly um, asked for people to join us and partner with us. So at the moment, we have actually managed to get people on board. We have lots of successful um, business people from different walks of, of, of life, entertainment, um, oil and gas, um, industry, who have come forward to say they want to be part of this. And mm -hmm. we've actually already planned what we're going to do with them to reach out to these children. We've also had organizations come forward and say they want to be part of this. Mm. So you're absolutely right. This isn't about a singular approach. And our aspiration is that this isn't also about one year. Okay. It's, a, it's about creating sustainable impact in, mm. in the lives of these young people mm. um, for, for time to come. Mm. Do, do you hope to get this into other schools? Or can a community come and apply to say, look, we are Madina one. We also want to benefit from this. Is there room for such things? Absolutely. The intention is to go get reach out to as many state schools, state-run schools as possible. Okay. Uh, we're starting with Mataiko, obviously because of one um, 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 familiarity, but also Mataiko roots. <laughs> yes, my Mataiko roots, but also because um, the the uh, circuit supervisor was very very. Um, 
um, you know, she was warm and, and it's, it's, she's very keen and it's interesting how life works out because mm. after we met her, turns out we went to primary school together. She was my, my junior. So wow. you know how things come together. Wow. We meet each other. We say, you look familiar. And I said, you look familiar. And we managed to work it out. So wow. she's been extremely, extremely um, mm. supportive. Good morning, Agnes. So if somebody's listening and says, look, I like this Evolve with STEM project. Maybe I'm a donor. I have money on my business. What space is there? How can we get involved? Or some young people want to volunteer. What should we do? So they can reach out to us. Mm -hmm. They can reach, um, um, actually, I think what we can do later is we will, we will also post the contact person. Mm -hmm. Um, but the contact person is Leila mm -hmm. um, Khalid, who works at um, Airtel, mm -hmm. and we will post her details as well so that people can reach out to her and, and, and join in because we want to do this collectively and also reach as many children as we possibly can. Mm, this is exciting stuff coming in from Lucy Quist, who is the, the Oga, the top at Airtel, and also the reigning champion. Ah, is there a requirement as CIMG Marketing Man of the Year to do this, or is this something that to inspire us, what I believe. Okay. We're recognized to actually make a difference. Mm -hmm. And a, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, um, the reigning marketing woman of the year at the time was Esther Cobber, which mm -hmm. um, many, most people have, have heard of. And she launched an initiative called um, um, Believe It, Achieve It. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea was to inspire young people to believe in themselves, believe in their dreams and achieve their dreams. Mm -hmm. um, and so... She was the first person actually I, I spoke to, uh, being a, a past winner, to really say, you know, I want to do something more with this. And she shared with me her mm -hmm. idea. Okay. And off <clears> the back <throat> of that, we launched Evolve with STEM to sit with uh, uh, in that umbrella to say, STEM is what I really understand personally. So I will use what I understand and bring people on board who I understand to, to make the most of it with the young people. Mm interesting stuff we wish you well we hope to to talk to you again and if you have some of the beneficiaries of the the, the evolve with stem we'll be happy to talk to them as well I'm sure some of the kids who get to talk to you and meet your friends they'll be happy to be on radio so let's know if you want to do that we i think they will really really enjoy the experience and mm. you, you never know you may be it's inspiring a future yeah. minister yeah maybe you should let them evolve to also come and do radio yes <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, it's great seeing you again great talking to you good luck with Evolve with STEM and also with Airtel for 2016. What's your promise for your Airtel customers and clients? To continue to provide the most innovative telecom solutions for their personal and business needs in Ghana. Well, Charlie, I'll be heavy. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lucy Christ. She's the Oga, the top.